Hey, what's up, guys? This is going to be a combination video. I'm going to be talking about my birthday, uh, Californathon, and Ninja Turtles. <laughs> As you know, uh, today is the 15th. It's about to be the 16th. It's pretty late at night, but they announced, uh, they showed some footage of Ninja Turtles. And, uh, so far, it's kind of a mixed bag. I mean, they had like the has like a pretty generic open world. Thankfully, it doesn't look too bloated. It looks, it looks pretty barren, like most open world games. But what looks like it's nice, at least from the whatever area it is that's in the the demo or that footage, is that it looks like it's pretty small and it doesn't take too long to get from point A to point B, which is always the most boring thing about any open world game, is uh, how long it just takes for something to happen. The combat looks decent, but uh, it, it's really hard to judge. I, I've I've been looking at the thread on NeoGAF and people have been already, you know, they got their pitchforks out, they're salty and, <laughs> and upset and saying they're not going to buy it, but, you know, thankfully some people have have, uh, have been the voice of reason and told them, you know, those people playing don't know what they're doing. They're pretty much mashing the square button. You're not going to be able to make a uh, legitimate, you know, impression until, you know, somebody else like Swillow or who knows who else, you know, <laughs> the other people in the action game community, they get their hands on it. Uh, what makes things difficult for me, uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get it. I definitely want to see more footage and learn more about it before I commit to playing it. Uh, but what makes it difficult for me is it's coming out on May 24th, and uh, around that time I'm going to be heading up to San Jose to hang out with my friends. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's not like I won't be able to play it at all, it's just that I won't be here. Uh, even if I am here, I forget exactly when the trip starts, but... I'll probably only have like a day with it tops. Like, if it's anything like Transformers, then I could finish it in one sitting. But uh, it's not going to be like a, a normal project for me where I get it on day one and and pull like long, stressful, strenuous hours, and then I'm done with the game in a week, and then I play more casually. What's what's probably going to happen if I do get it is I will probably put up like some impressions, maybe a couple quick guides or a quick like combat system analysis. And then from there, uh, I'm going to be gone for a while. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I think his roommate, my friend that I'm crashing with, I think his roommate has a decent computer. So maybe I can just link my Steam account on there and I can play it that way. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get the PC version because a lot of my friends on Twitch, like uh, Teaminator64, uh, Laser Long, uh, Half Coordinated, all those guys are all pretty much predominantly PC gamers, so it would be cool to do like a co-op run with them. So that's pretty much what the plan is right now if I do get it, but we've only got like 10 minutes of footage and a couple random snippets of gameplay footage from the trailer. Uh, people are really jumping the gun too fast. It honestly doesn't look too hot right now, but I mean you're looking at footage of people who probably have never played a character action game at a high level in their life. <laughs> you can't really make an honest uh, impression that way. It's kind of, it was the same way with Transformers. Uh, the, you know, the PR guys or the social media guys at Activision, they gave out the code to like Cinemassacre and a bunch of other big channels and stuff. And I watched their footage and it was like, it was pretty obvious. They definitely had passion for Transformers in general. Uh, way more than I did. I, I didn't really watch that much Transformers as a kid, but like the, the level of play didn't really show what was possible in the game. And uh, Some friends of mine suggested that uh, maybe Squillow and I and a couple other people, we can get in contact with Activision, and uh, maybe we can get some pre-release codes. And uh, That would be great for me. I mean, I wouldn't mind paying 50 bucks for the game. I, I buy pretty much every Platinum game for full price on day one, but what would make it great for me is if they gave it to me like a couple days early, if not a week early, then I could get all the footage out for the game and then go out on my vacation and just be done with it. I don't know if that's going to happen yet. I don't even know where to start, who to contact or anything. In terms of Californathon, uh, it looks like uh, the fourth person is not going to be able to go unless a miracle happens. Uh, the person who's doing the carpool, he looks like he's going to try to find the fourth person. Uh, I've got enough in my PayPal to cover most of the expenses. I don't think the carpool is going to be too much. I think it's probably going to be like a couple dollars. Gas is really cheap right now, at least in California. Uh, it's like almost half price of what it was just like last year. So I don't think that's going to be too much. But uh, what I'm going to be doing on my birthday is I'm probably going to go up to the mall uh, to Red Robin. Maybe I'll just order a pizza or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But uh, I will be on at some point in the afternoon. And uh, I'll probably be doing some uh, practice for my speed games. Uh, they're both really short games that I've put tons of time into, so I don't think it's going to take me longer than a day or two to practice. But I'm going to be doing that. Uh, maybe I will try to raise a little extra money. Uh, if I can get like 
twenty thirty dollars more I think I'll be able to go comfortably uh, it's nice that it's it's only two hours away so it's not like it's a huge investment I'm not like flying across the country or anything I'm not renting out a hotel for a week it's just like a a week long of, or a weekend event it's not like a a huge expense or anything it's no different than like visiting a friend on the other side of the state pretty much so uh, that's what's going to be going down on Saturday on my birthday I don't want to commit to a time just yet because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get home after I go to the mall it tends to take me like at least an hour so I'm gonna shoot for like probably 2 if not 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, any later than that and the bus stops running anyway so that's probably the time I'm gonna be on uh, unfortunately I can't give like a concrete answer so uh, I will be on. Uh, I'll be giving out two copies of Streets of Fury EX. The, also, the developer said that they might add parries in uh, before the game is uh, at California Thon, which is going to be pretty awesome, but also kind of stressful for me because I don't know how much time I'll have to practice to get all the timings down and stuff. But that's pretty exciting. I'll be able to show the game with the parries and all the mechanics in. So that's what's happening pretty much. Uh, Ninja Turtles is kind of on jeopardy because I don't know when or if I'll be available. Uh, Californathon is pretty much funded. I'm gonna, tr I think I'm gonna set the goal. If I can raise like an extra thirty, forty dollars, I should be okay. And uh, yeah, I'll be giving out two copies of Streets of Fury EX and other, what other random codes I have on my birthday. So you can stop by, and whether you want to help me out or not, you should definitely come by. I'm gonna be giving out some uh, some free games. So I'll see you guys there. Peace.